know. Like you just don't know where it's gonna go. That's cool. And sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you get really frustrated because nothing is coming. Designing is not just drawing stuff. The material is such a, a big part of, of the creation. We're launching a, a new product, an idea next year. How do we make it really good, uh, really special, really unique? TikTok, time's gonna be here before we know it, where we have to ship this out and have this ready, and this needs to be a product line that we can bring to the public. Not only to find it, but to be able to, to make it and to make it right. You know, we need to go over to Lyon and work with Mike and Guillaume in the shop, start cutting and, and seeing what happens. Let's do this together. Yeah, let's do it. Let's push it. Why France for me had two different answers. Most importantly, that Mike and Guillaume lived here. Being in this village, so right away you have space. So we got this great shop to really uh, experiment. There's a baker, a contractor, lots of folks who are just so willing to share their crafts and trades and talents around the town. And that, you know, France is this you know, country about food and, and design, certainly. That's just this contrast between the, the sort of old and the new, the countryside of Lyon and the sort of high design, and then the Seattle and, and light art and where we're uh, making everything. And the materials are so much stone and uh, kind of older materials that you see in, in France. And then we have this, you know, rather new kind of environment in Seattle. What is authentic design? Probably the best way to answer that is just looking at the material, because the material is authentic in its raw form. And the process is authentic if you get back to just doing it by hand. As soon as you make things, you realize if they work or not, you know? We like the idea of something hard like wood. He would yes, be yeah. very uh, Seattle uh, style, you know? Right, so yeah, if we start with just this kind of simple grid, the grid then can get complex, right? Yeah. We decided to uh, go into the town of Lyon to uh, connect with the city a little bit. And while they were in Lyon, they saw the Museum of Confluences. This is just fantastic. The great feeling of being under like a, a big rock, right at the confluence of these two main rivers, and made a big contrast in the, with this black reveal and the aluminum panels. Instead of hiding this, um, the technical part of that, they showed it. Kind of hit me that that was the, the missing link. And all of a sudden, this building in its sort of 3D architectural form says, no, it has to be about structure because it's a space and it's holding itself up. So basically, we, we want to, to move from like this typical flat grid and really give this third dimension, and that's where the complexity is, uh, comes. We were at the bakery, uh, we were talking about this structure, this grid, but didn't find the right one. He was doing the croissants, he, he was making this amazing grid, triangle grid. It made me think about uh, the shape, the grid we, we were looking for. Sometimes ideas come from, you know, dough. <laughs> Starting something that you have no idea where you're going, you always feel like you're gonna kind of blow it at any minute, you know? He's thinking about these super pie in the sky kind of out there ideas with them. He has to make them easy to show for reps, easy to buy for clients. There's really this huge crunch for how are we actually going to get this done. You have all these ideas and you have the one really easy to do and, and the one really crazy. And the new machine is going to be able to have a head that rotates and cuts at whatever angle these pieces are going to be cut at. It's, we just can't, if we don't have that machine, we can't build this. I mean, it's sort of interesting and risky and futuristic. It's a new idea. You can test them and try them and you just have to hope that you, you show them to the world and that somebody bites onto it a little bit. Probably most importantly is you, you don't do it alone getting a bunch of really interesting people together that it's hard to explain, you know, it just kind of happens. You might personally feel like you only have a quarter of it and someone else might feel like they've got a quarter of it, but collectively, you know, you sort of put all those quarters together and you create something that's bigger than that.
then it becomes this amazing kind of synergy. No other way to do that besides getting the, the right people together. It just wouldn't work any other way. You know, that's the magic of it. Je ne sais pas.